Fort Myers is a port city and the opening gateway into the Sanibel Islands and Moore Islands. Fort Myers is one of the region's most prominent tourist destinations and economic centers in southwest Florida's Lee County. It is famous for its many beaches and excellent water sports opportunities, with many stretches of sand throughout the town that can be explored and used. Like the surrounding area, it gets sun for 340 days a year, making it the ideal tropical getaway for many. Today we share the top 10 best things to do in Fort Myers so you can plan a trip and experience all the exciting attractions and activities this beautiful city has to offer. Starting with number 10, Fort Myers Beach. Fort Myers Beach is one of the free things to do in Fort Myers, seven miles across the gorgeous Florida shoreline. Warm, shallow water, beautiful sand, and linings of houses, restaurants, and hotels have made this one of the city's most fun attractions. It tends to get crowded at peak seasons and is well-loved by locals and visitors. Fort Myers Beach covers the ground from Lover's Key State Park to Bowditch Point Park. It's modern and offers beach chair rentals, equipment, sports item rentals, food service, lots of swimming space, and a lively and refreshing atmosphere. At number 9 is the Times Square. Times Square is a compact space close to Fort Myers Beach, in front of the pier, which we'll talk about later. It's packed with many different places to go and things to experience. It's perfect for a stroll and relaxation, and the bright bricks provide an excellent feast for the eyes. With a gorgeous ambience, all the vibrancy that Florida is famous for, plenty of restaurants and snack stops, and many places to sit to watch the sunset, Times Square is a beautiful place to spend an evening. At number 8, Lover's Key State Park. Lover's Key State Park has one of the finest stretches of beach in the Fort Myers area and can be a pleasant escape from the traffic and craziness of Fort Myers Beach on busy days. The beach is reached via a short walk over several bridges, where you can see alligators and other aquatic wildlife. Lover's Key is a popular canoeing, kayaking, and stand-up paddleboarding spot due to its protected inland waterways. This is also an excellent spot to look for shells, as quite a few varieties wash up on the shores, and the competition among shellers is less intense than on Sanibel Island. At number 7, Manatee Park. Except for the iconic American alligator, no creature is more associated with the sunshine state than the lovable manatee. These slow-moving, vegetarian behemoths are adorable, and there's no better place to see them in their natural environment than at Manatee Park. The park lies near the warm water discharge from a Florida power and light electricity generating station. When the water is cool during winter, it draws the manatees. Park admission is free, though there's a small parking charge for each vehicle regardless of the number of occupants. At number 6 in our list, Six Mile Cypress Slough Preserve. The Six Mile Cypress Slough Preserve in Fort Myers, Florida, is a 3,500-acre haven. It is a delightful preserve for all sorts of flora and fauna and is an excellent option for what to do if you'd like some serene time in the great outdoors this weekend. It has been officially noted as a preserve since 1970 and is free to enter. The Six Mile Cypress Slough Preserve boasts a boardwalk that stretches for 1.4 miles. At number 5, Fort Myers Beach Pier. Dating originally from 1921 but fully rebuilt, the Fort Myers Pier juts out 560 feet into the Gulf of Mexico and is one of Southwest Florida's premier sunset spots. The pier is also known locally as Pelican Pier since pelicans frequently line the pier and keep a close eye on people fishing. The pier is free to walk on and has a large, partially covered viewing area at the end, along with a small kiosk selling drinks, fishing supplies, and souvenirs halfway along the deck. 
From the pier, you can often see dolphins swimming parallel to the beach, not far offshore. At number 4, Lakes Regional Park. The Lakes Regional Park was once a gravel quarry. Now, it has become one of the top Fort Myers attractions and is also one of its free things to do. It is near the downtown side of the city and spans an impressive 289 acres full of delightful sightseeing space, perfect for outdoor recreation and a taste of Florida's natural environment. It is also relatively accessible, with easy and even trails and short paths for approachable journeys. At number 3 in our list, J. N. Dean Darling National Wildlife Refuge. Comprised of nearly 8,000 acres, J. N. Ding Darling National Wildlife Refuge was named after a conservationist and political activist and is located on Sanibel Island just off the beach from Fort Myers. They are home to a diverse mangrove forest environment full of alligators, ospreys, and countless species of fish and crustaceans that find protection in the dense mangrove roots. Visitors must pay an inexpensive per-vehicle entry fee to enter the park, and most guests like to stop at the Visitor's Education Center before heading out into the wild. At number 2, Fort Myers River District. Fort Myers has done an excellent job of preserving its historic downtown. This area, denoted by the red interlocking roadway, is full of restaurants, theaters, and interesting boutiques. Art Deco buildings dating from the 1920s act as a backdrop for the area, which comes alive in the late afternoon and early evening. Patios fill with diners enjoying acceptable fares, and pedestrians stroll up and down the wide sidewalks. One of the iconic restaurants here is Ford's Garage, decorated in a 1920s service station theme and displaying vintage Ford vehicles and related items. Check out the number one places in our list, Bunch Beach. Bunch Beach is one of your top choices, especially if you'd like a bit of relaxation away from noisy crowds. A tranquil environment, it's one of the city's impressive hidden gems and contains 718 acres of beautiful, natural, and unspoiled land. Salt flats, beaches, mangrove forests, and the ground look out over the rest of the city. Bunch Beach is a safe swimming location, and paddle boards, kayaks, and other watercraft can be rented out on the cobalt waves. Now it's time to hear from you what's your favorite things to do in Fort Myers. Is there something we missed? Let us know in the comments section below and don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to Greenable if you haven't already clicked the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.